Morning folks. For me this is a Saturday morning shave. I'm going to start off with the um, <laughs> with the soap. I like the name of this soap. It's from the uh, South uh, Florida Wet Shavers and this is a short run soap. Um, it's kind of one of those situations where if you see it, you want it, you better buy it because uh, it's once it's gone I'm not too sure that it's going to be made again, or if it is going to be made again, it's going to be a moment. And it's an unscented soap. There it is. And that SMG, the way I understand it, stands for Shave Master General. Now, even though that this 4-ounce uh, uh, soap here is unscented, unscented meaning not to insult everybody's intelligence, in other words, there's not any essential oils in there that provides a scent to it. But it does have a scent to it by the way of the ingredients that was used to make the soap. And it's fairly soft. Um, so as it goes for the scent itself, in other words, like I say, it's just from what the uh, ingredients was used to, to make the soap. So yeah, it's going to have... I don't want to say that it's bad in that it has the smell to it. Yes, but it's not an off-putting smell by any means. Just the ingredients that make the soap. I have uh, got my trusty witch hazel here. Get down to the bottom of the container there. Got my Allen block, complete with rubber band. Going to follow the shave up. Thought this might be appropriate today find a cutrement's snake bite. The lather that I whipped up is from the distinctive goat. It's wooden. It's made out of walnut and cherry. It's got grooves in it. That's what the lather looks like and here it is on the brush and let's see if I can get this turned around right. Ha! Ah, there it is. It's an AMAC brush. If I remember correctly this is like a 22 millimeter some of these 22 millimeters, and this is one of them in my opinion, that from my experience with my 24 millimeters, <laughs> they perform as such. I'm kind of sub, kind of surprised on the on the difference, just two millimeters, and how well they perform. The difference, at least in my opinion, my experience has been that's some pretty good lather there. The shaver of the day comes by the way of uh, Mac uh, Metalworks. And this is a Schick injector. As you can see, the handle has been modified to a certain extent. To me, that this this razor's cool. There's no other way of putting it. This is just an awesome looking razor, and um, it's got some weight to the handle. Some of um, if you're unfamiliar with a uh, Schick injector. In other words, it had a handle similar to this one right here. I can never keep it straight in my mind how to tell the difference in between a Bakelite and a plastic handle. So if you know the difference in between the two, this one here does have the seam running down through there. You can, you can definitely feel it. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's probably going to be kind of hard to tell, but it does have a seam to it. I enjoy shaving with these razors. To me, they give you uh, just a really nice shave. We're going to use the hot towel to the face. Took a little bit of the bloom water, apply it to the face. I'm going to go ahead and get lathered up here. That soap was made the way I understand it in collaboration, as it says on the label there, with. Hugo Martinez and and John. If you're familiar with the uh, Florida Wet Shaver Group, um, you probably know who John is. I enjoy watching his videos. There is not. Um, very many people that shave with shave vets that make videos. So how I got interested in 
and shave with a shave that with the begin in the beginning was uh, watching people shave with straight razors. First pass. Always felt that the uh, what you learn from watching a uh, straight razor going to be applied to a shavette, but there are <laughs> differences, and it's usually how how you uh, the the angle and the amount of pressure with the shavette even varies from shavette to shavette due to the weight and perhaps how the balance is. But you don't see very many people also shaving with a uh, an injector, at least in the way of a video. You see plenty of postings. To a degree, it's a lot like shaving with a DE. You find the angle. The amount of pressure you put on there. To me, these things, <laughs> they just, the, the, the shave I get with them, the blade also I'm using is a, uh, a Persona mini hair shaper, shape blade, uh, blade that's uh, using a hair shaper. You know, uh, if you've got the patience, if you're very careful, you can take the um, the blades from the dispenser that Persona makes because it doesn't have the key, and load it into a Schick, one that uh, has a key. It's not too terribly tough. You just got to be careful and be patient because it does take a little bit of a focus to do it because you definitely don't, <laughs> don't want to lose focus you'll end up cutting your fingers this soap is uh, it's pretty creamy it's a good soap I like it this is my first time using I guess I should say for me when I uh, not necessarily a rinse but you know uh, add some more water to the face re-wetting the face before I start the next pass. For me, what I'm doing, I'm, I'm seeing how the, uh, the shave's going, what kind of whiskers are left, if there's much, quite a bit, whatever the case might be. I really like this soap. Sometimes, you can, at least for me, I can tell when I'm putting it on. Uh, I guess you might say the creaminess of the uh, of the soap slickness, if you will. Pass number two across the green. And it just has a feel to it that you know, for me, uh, at this point in the stage of my journey of learning how to wet shave. Something I picked up. Yeah, I really am liking this soap. I haven't been able to put my finger on this one. I've been trying to think of. Something about the formulation of this soap is a little different than what I've used of other soaps. You know how you use a soap and it'll be creamy, smooth. 
then you use another one and it's creamy and smooth but still different. There's something unique about this one. Secret sauce, I guess. Because you know they put the uh, ingredients on the label. Such a joy just shaving with this. I guess you might say it is uh, <clears throat> makes for a very unique shaving experience when you're uh, working with uh, artisans. Not only the uh, the folks that make the brushes, the soap, and then you got people like Jake that uh, make these razors that I enjoy shaving with. And the weight on that handle is nice. There's plenty of lather in this brush. As well in the bowl. I'm glad I got this when I did. Knowing what I know now, I've been a little unhappy for missing out on this. If it helps any, in my opinion, one of the things I have learned uh, shave with a uh, uh, shavette is that if you're watching a gentleman uh, shave with a straight razor and he says, you know, he's all right with the slickness of a soap, in my opinion, that's the stamp of approval right there because. You got to have slickness if you're shaving with a straight razor or shave it. That is one thing that will derail your, your shave is not having enough slickness when you're shaving with a shave it or a straight razor. I enjoy doing this on a Saturday morning. Get a nice smooth shave on a Saturday. Just enjoying the shave. Sundays I shave with the uh, DE razor. Monday through Friday for the most part usually with a uh, shavette. And I have one that was given to me by a friend. I've had it for a while. What, three, four months? I've had it for a moment. The thing is, to me, is just scary. And of course, you know, John, he <laughs> shaved with one. <laughs> Looks very similar to this. And um, it, to me, I find it, the more I got to thinking about it, I guess it's interesting, in that I, um, doesn't really make me, I mean, it, when I first started, I was, yeah, a little nervous shaving with the shavette, but I felt like I was confident that I could I could learn how to do it. Straight razor, same thing. I, I felt like I could, you know, learn how to do this. Was still not too sure about the stropping. Still, <laughs> that's a work in progress, and I don't have any stones. So I haven't started that part. And I think I'm many moons down the road before I do anything like that. I just don't think I'm... 
time-wise, I don't think I have, uh, I'm not there yet. I guess you might say I'm a little too busy, and so that, that way, you know, what I'm trying to say is the shave that works out better for me. But my next Monday, this one here was given to me, and that blade hanging out like that, I shaved with a straight razor and a shave at, and this one here makes me more ner nervous than the other two. I don't know what it is. I guess because I felt like right now, looking at that, doesn't look like you get much assistance in finding the right angle. And for me, that's always been concerning with a straight razor and a shave at. In other words, you can see the bevel. You can see how you can get your angle. And this one here, you're going to start shaving with it on Monday. And like I say, that's one of the reasons why it's been kind of sort of set no there is that it makes... <laughs> that blade hanging out there like that makes me nervous. It's kind of like I don't know if anybody has seen uh, that uh, DE razor where it looks like the cap and the base plate have been flip flopped because typically your 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 cap is smaller than your base plate in that particular DE razor. It's the other way around. No, I don't know if that, yeah, that one there makes me nervous too. I don't, don't know if I can shave with that one. That looks like it's definitely going to take off a layer of skin. <laughs> going to put some witch hazel on. Yeah, that one there is scary to me. I always find it interesting, the comments about a, <coughs> a gentleman that will shave with a straight razor, but... Yeah, the, the uh, <laughs> a shavette makes them uh, <laughs> quite concerned. <laughs> I don't know. Both of them, I mean, to a degree, yeah, sure, I was nervous, but not like I am with, uh, <laughs> with that one there, that blade sticking out there like that. I'm going to start on Monday. That, that, that's going to be an interesting shave. I will have a DE set to the side with a blade loaded because if I get very far into the shave and if it's not didn't feel like I'm it's going well yeah I'm switching snake bite I just know <laughs> I'm gonna watch a few more videos with uh, John John shaved with it and uh, I think when I watched watched it the first time I think I got the grasp of on how he was finding the angle. So hopefully Monday the shave won't go too bad. For me it works better if I can uh, if I can visualize it in my mind how I'm going to get that angle and how I should proceed. That blade is, uh, is a bit longer than a shavette. This comes closer to resembling a uh, uh, it comes closer to uh, resembling a uh, straight razor. That is one thing with a uh, straight razor, and this one here is making that adjustment of uh, how long that blade is. You're going to get, you're going to cover more area with that blade. And if you're used to shaving with a shavette, that's typically the size of a DE. There's a bit of a difference. Just a slight learning curve. I think I can handle it, though. That's the reason why I'm trying to. Just going to be a wee bit nervous. Have every intention of making a video of it also. Alright. Let's go back over what I shaved with. Mac Metalworks. You'll, if you go to his website. A lot of his stuff is, uh, you'll notice that if you see a razor. If you like it, you might want it because that's it. it is, in other words, it's not like uh, Edwin Jagger where they have... A bazillion sitting in stock. No. <laughs> what you see is what he has. So if you like it, you better get it. I got some lather here left. Here in the bowl. Distinctive goat. Walnut. Cherry. Yeah, I got lather everywhere. I like this bowl. And my bowl. This is the part I really like about it too. That's cool. Having it on the bottom there. Soap of the day, South Florida wet shavers.
Shave Master General. Allen block, complete with rubber band. That's about the only way I think it could ever use without dropping it every time. Witch Hazel, about to the bottom of this one here. Follow the shave up with uh, fine snake bite. I like menthol. It's uh, I like what it, how the, the the cooling effect on my face. It's as a matter of fact, I can still feel it. Makes for a great morning. Everybody, stay safe. Smooth shaves. Until next time.